Mage here. And all the stuff in my inventory, this is going to be used to build an AFK fish farm. Which is a simple thing. It's an early game thing. I'm kind of in the mid game. But, you know, I never built one before. Those fighters hostile. They appear to be neutral right now. That's awesome. These zombies are hostile, though. Let me shoot this guy in the head. Okay, your gold armor isn't helping you very much there. <laughs> you can keep him alive and not burning in the sun, though. I'm going to start by doing is building the sorting system at the bottom. And that way I'll know how high to make this overall structure. Alright, how many fish are available in Minecraft? Let's find out. Alright, I've confirmed. That will be four types of fish, so I need a four item item sorter. Um, so the fish will be there, so kind of like drop down. Hmm. Inherently, this makes for kind of an L-shaped structure. Item sorters go in a line. Chest right here. Bloop. Bloop. That means... Get a hopper going into the chest. Like so. Bam. The item sorter will be up above that. So yeah, doing this whole item sorter from memory. The redstone comparator pointed that way. And a hopper pointed into the redstone comparator. It doesn't empty itself. That block is there. We go out two blocks. And then down. It's a down bit. It's really important. Around to the other side of this. Grab some redstone dust. I don't want spider eye. Wait, can you hear me? I don't want a spider eye. There we go. Of course the spider didn't drop a string, which I actually do. Oh, whatever. Right, one, two, three blocks long. That's how we do this. And it's down here. It's there. I think I need repeater. Yeah, probably a repeater. Guitar. And then a block. Then a redstone torch. Yep. That is the item sorter. That's it right there. Oh, I yeah. did it from memory. And then I need to repeat this. I can build a solid base here. Ah, I didn't mean to place that block. Four more times. Okay, I'm back. My tripwire hooks. Crafted some trap chests. And still got regular chests. Here we go. Bam. That's our chests. Jump back up here. Finish this item sorter. Got hoppers. Bam, bam, bam. And comparators. Bam, bam. And finally another set of hoppers. Hopper, hopper, hopper. Alright. Those pull from an item stream when necessary. Now, actual item streams will be generated up over here and go across. So, a final chest over here. Just hang out right there. 
of air. Bam. Is it a trap chest or a regular chest? Trap chest. Convenient. Beautiful. Gonna put a hopper into that. And a line of hoppers. Down this way. There's the sorting system. A big ugly mess. But that's okay. Covering this up of a structure in a little bit. Standing at this height, water will be on there. Door will be right here. Solid block there. Solid block here. And there. And there. And get a lot of zombies. Should I turn around and look? Skull's in there, too. That could be dangerous. Watch out. He's below the height of the... What should I call it? Fence. Wall. I'm gonna kill him anyways, though. And this other skeleton. I'm gonna kill him as well. Yep. It's gonna go there. It's gonna go there. We go, got a nice staircase coming up. We have to access the controls here. Stone brick. Stone brick. Bam. Thinking. Stone brick is placed back here. I think it is. I think it is. these out. Oh, look at all those, like, dying zombies in the sun. Can you hear all this? It's just insane. And this one's not dying in the sun because it has a helmet on. I can help. Okay. So, tripwire hook. And then another tripwire hook. And then... Tripwire. Okay, so that's that. That's that. That makes it all make sense. And break that. Important reason to break that, I'm sure. And water bucket. Boom. There's a water bucket. Friggin' spider! Die, spider, die. Okay, that's better. And stone. This one doesn't need to be here, does it? Do I have a fishing pole? No, I don't. Also, I want to cover these. Juices lag, supposedly. Alright. Let's go grab a fishing rod and give this thing a little test run. How about it? By the way, in between episodes, I've been expanding the size of another thing, so Monk did all that. I mean, this bigger. Where'd the freaking horse go? Through the portal, and he starts wandering off immediately. Anyways, now all these things are so much bigger. Plenty of river horses. All the other portals are expanded. And there was a little bit of off camera work with Kaz on this village. Same village I found early on in the game, close to our swamp base. But we've been improving it. Put up a set of noodler style, style walls. 
all the way around. Very cool. Very pastoral, our rural area. And there's this ancient stone tower here. Very creepy with vines hanging down it. And no apparent entrance other than the nether portal, which doesn't get you into the tower, it just gets you into the nether. But not when you're still on the horse. Lots of villagers. Well, we did expand things a little bit. Throw some extra doors by making these large manor houses and stuff. Obviously, we have enough villagers to have a decent number of iron golems, which will help when we start getting zombie sieges. And I need some emeralds. I need to get some uh, luck of the sea. Yeah, luck of the sea. Fishing rods. Let's start out with a bunch of raw chicken. Only my inventory wasn't stuffed full of crap. Oh. You're a leather worker. That doesn't help me. Well, I'll get on with this. I'll be back. Look, 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 look. Death Strider 3. Come on, everybody. This is the best thing ever. Not the best thing ever, but, I mean... Death Strider. It's great. Do it. All right. This is the fishing rod. This fishing rod has... Rigging 3, Luck of the Sea 3, and Mending. I'm sure this is working correctly. To actually aim it at the string, it has to be aimed at the string. Yeah. Down for a second, see if we get a couple fish. Alright, so now we're doing a bit of the external structure of this. And stick a little barred window in there. Not a lot of them, a little bit of it. As I tried to, the first time I tried to use it, I got shot by a skeleton. So, let's not get shot by skeletons. We've stashed uh, dirt in each of these. And anything that comes through, it will come into the first slot. So, this should be a self setting up sorting system. Because the only non stackable items coming through. Should be the fish. Right, it's the fishes. And they will back. When a fish comes in, it will back up in the filter. Nothing else will be sucked into here until it gets up to 41. Any item that's not a fish pass through the filter if it hasn't been set up yet. The non stackable item will be the same as a full stack of 64 fish. It'll, pla it'll, go, it'll be pulled out of here, and then a fish will stop when it gets there. Like. So. Alright. I can go rebind my keys, and we're gonna test this out for a bit, see what our results are. This thing is working. But I realize there are significantly more non stackable items you can get from fishing than I thought. And some of them are kinda of common. I already got a whole bunch of name tags. And I'm gonna wanna sort those out. Say non stackable, I meant stackable. I meant stackable. Um, yep. And one hopper short. No! Wait, try that again. No! Alright. Let's go get another one. I got enough chess. using this, you want to be close to the water block, but you need to make sure you're hitting the hitbox of the string. That's key. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Now we are in the jungle. Maybe? Somewhere. Jungle. This is Electric Monk's jungle outpost. Right on top of a jungle temple. Portal actually spawned in a tree, because, I mean, they're not, right? Hopefully my horse is still there. Yep, there's my horse. I don't really need to be four wide, but you know, matches up to the tunnel. Alright. Here. Portal. Take a horse with me. That's a problem. Okay, all that straightened out. Um, what, oh, we're remanding? Back on the horse. Okay, on the horse. I can go out this door here. Maybe can pass through those, that's safe. And I made, hanging up here in this tree, sort of the bit by a branch, uh, tagged into another branch here. A little horse parking spot. The slab trick. So the horse doesn't know it can get out. I almost fell into that. Look at that! That's not safe. Burning down a chunk of jungle right here. Make a better cat hunting ground. Doing it on an island so the whole jungle won't burn down. Cat, look at me. Cat. Cat, look at me. Get to look at you. Okay, be with, so if I be within ten blocks and not closer than six when they see uh, you while you're holding fish. That's tricky. And now I have to fight a zombie. Alright, so I put the map in the crafting thing with the empty map next to it. Now I have a thing that says two map. I take that out. Yeah. That should be two okay. copies of the same map now. And you can put one back up on the wall. Okay. Yeah, trying to tame a cat at night is a losing battle. There's the cat. It is right here. Now I just go, go within ten blocks. Not more than six. Here we go. He's begging for fish. How Yay, I got a cat! Fish. I got a cat! Yay! Alright, so. Working on finishing off this tower. That ah, there's a spider. There's a spider. Wait, 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 wait. That's better. Hey, okay, finish off this tower. This tower. <laughs> Gonna house the sorting system and the fishing farm. Cause why do something the easy way when I can do it the hard way? Occur to me that rather than having just just rising up behind the walls, you know what I could do? I could kill the scraper. I could make this be the corner of the wall. So I have the wall go in on diagonal, boom, run into this tower. And the same thing on the other side. And instead of having the gate down here that I currently have here, creeper. That's part of the design, though. It's supposed to make it where you can shoot stuff that's outside the walls. Clever. You go down through outside the wall under here. Yeah, it's a plan. Let's work on getting it all together. And here I am, finishing up the top of this tower. It went a little bit higher than needed to go for the machine. Not strictly required, just to make an automatic AFK fish farm. But you know what is required? Um, leaving that uncovered. Dope. Yep, that's what we need. Boom. 
there's a roof on. Bam. Also, it keeps the spiders from attacking me, because spiders kept attacking me. That was getting old real fast. All these mobs. Look at that. What the hell do you want? Maybe this is an idea. Go like that. That's the other one. This. that. Like I said, I was trying to finish up this um, tower thingy that has gotten way out of hand. It started out just as a cover for my damn fish farm, and it's become this huge monstrosity. I cannot, for some reason, walk away from it without finishing this floor here. You know what? You, you know, I'm not going to finish this floor. I'm going to make a little walkway around the outside edge, and that's all that's going to be up here. And you'll have this big, empty space with a machine in it. That's what we're going to have. All right, I got my little walkway going around, and now I'm going to knock some holes in the wall and put in some iron bars. Not leather bars. Iron bars. Uh, okay, that's good. And having these iron bars here, kind of like... You know what I mean? Like, it serves to break up the surface of this big wad of stone bricks. Having windows in it. That makes sense to you? Yep. The enclosure. The mats look were done. Ridiculous, stupid, obnoxious re enclosure is... Done on the top. Done on the upper part of the inside. Just a little walkway. Walk around. You can look out these windows. Gaze longingly through the iron bars at the sea. And they just have to do this terrible pile of dirt at the bottom. But I have an idea here. It's going to involve moving these walls, making this effectively a gatehouse as well. Yeah, that might take a few minutes though. Look! Look at all this stuff! All this stuff! All this stuff. That's just from leaving it overnight. For one night. All that stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Gamey. Ooh. Well, I finished the aesthetic bits. Wall now ends right here. Nice little set of stairs to come down from it. No entrance to the tower from the wall, because I decided not to. Doors. Nigh impenetrable. Arrows that don't fire because of server lag. I have a bad internet connection. Over here. Let's do the wall goes over here. Reaper. Sure, whatever. Oh, we can see it. Nice tower. Not sure if my connection issues will allow me to open the door or not. I may not be able to open the door. Oh my god, this is terrible. Yeah, well, it's finished off in here. Doors. Open up. Or not. Little firing ports in case there's a zombie outside the door. Of course, my arrows don't go in any sort of reasonable time frame. Because apparently I have useless internet connection. Chests that don't open. Lots of cool stuff in them. Final form, my fish farm. There it is. And it functions as a nice new gatehouse. Hey, right, everybody. Wow, look at the arrow not fly. Bam. Bam. Kabam. 